Hello, welcome back to Let's Play Fire Emblem. This is Luigi Van 64D. Well, we finally made it. Finally caught up with my old play, the play file. But unfortunately, there's a huge time difference. Actually, thankfully, I don't want to go through 110 hours to do nothing. Actually, all through this one, this was a pretty sad playthrough in my old one. Every, everyone died. No one really achieved anything. And like... It was just really sad. I didn't even get the level A friendship with Ninian. I didn't get any level A friendships. And everyone, all, and everyone died. It was it was pretty sad. But I finally made it. I finally, it feels like I'm redeeming myself for playing this only a little bit. So I'm actually getting excited for this. Let's do this. Final chapter. Light. Nergel should be back there. Should we wait for Lord Athos? Oh, because we had no choice. If you're looking for me, I'm right here. Lord Athos! You're late, Greybeard. Well, were you successful? I was. Use this magic tome. What is it? A legendary item, Aureola. The strongest light magic wielded by Saint Elimine herself. With this, we should be able to rend Nurgle's dark cloak and do him much harm. And these too have been infused with magic that makes them more effective against Nurgle. Durandal for Elwood. And for Hector, Armands. It's... I can feel it already. Its power is beyond words. Incredible! With this, I know it cannot fail. And Lindis, this is for you. Huh? What blade is this? A spirit-inhabited sword, the partner of the Manikati. This is the Soul Kati. It's not a legendary item, but its blade contains much power. Thank you! Nils, is Nurgle back there? I sense tremendous power. What could it be? I feel something really odd. He should have lost most of his henchmen in the last battle. But... I read energy too, if only a little. Nils is right. The sense of it is different than before. Brace yourselves. He is formidable. We understand. Let's go, everyone. Luigi, this is it. The last battle. Lord Athos spoke the truth about Nurgle. Average men cannot hope to stand against him. Ordinary weapons hold no power against him. Those who go with us, they must be chosen carefully. Alright, this will be a little tricky. This is the final battle. We're actually here. There's a great darkness that shrouds the land, so we can't see what's coming up. Alright, so my rank is the tactician. Yeah. Don't know what's going on with that. How's my tactician level? It's six. Um, so now for the toughest part of what am I, who am I going to bring? Um, well that's actually kind of tricky. Who, who do I bring? I mean, huh. Well I can't, I'm not going to bring Nino and Jafar. The two, Nino's too underleveled. And Jafar I'll bring with Nino next time. So don't worry. Um, Well, hmm. Okay, let's bring Becca, Florina, Lowen. Well, bring Dorcas and Canis, that's for sure. But I need someone for. I want to bring Guy. I mean, he's finally level S ranked Sword Mastery, so. You know. Uh. Ooh, do I really need Florina? Uh. Hmm. Because when I was planning it, I didn't plan on using Lowen when I first made out my battles plan. But then again, but then it turns out that Lowen's like ultimate. And if you real, and if you look at the stats, they're both they. 
they both have S rank for land, for spears. So... Hmm. I'll bring Loen and leave Florina for Guy. I'm sure I'll bring her next time. Yeah, I plan on bringing her next time. Yep, planned it all out. Okay. Let's do this. We will... Go... Go to Athos and take the Durandal from him. Oh yeah, we have Athos now, don't we? I'll go over him in a second, give our mods over to Hector. Go... Get the Soul Cadi from Athos. Don't need the Lance Reaper anymore. Athos? Well, first let's bio him. This is Athos, the Arc Sage, one of the eight legendary heroes. Arc Sage, honorific bestowed upon the wisest of sages. He comes level 20, has 40 HP, and he isn't gonna get any better because he has S rank in all weapons, in all in all magical weapons. His magic is maxed out, good stats, luck is 25, defense is maxed out, and his brilliant resistance. He's a really good dude. Comes out with four blades, which boosts luck by five when it quits, and o and Aureola, as was mentioned before, which in which increases his resistance by five. So I don't need these anymore. So let's bring Aura's kind of useless for him. Let's bring let's get a flux. Um. Since I'm not bringing Nino, I'll take Fimble Fetter. And. Uh, who else is something interesting? Oh, a staff. That's right, I need a staff. Let's take a Physic. Okay, Matthew. He's coming with us. So let's use him, right? Yeah. Since he's coming with us. Because I'm not. I, just, I'm, I think I'm not going to use him next run. I'll use Jafar instead. Okay, so take two killing edges just in case. No, that's stupid. Just take one that's really good. And that's all he ever needs. Probably all he'll ever use. Okay, Guy. I'm actually gonna give the Silver Blade to Guy. Just because. He'll be fine. Although he does need some elixirs, so I'm gonna have to go get those from Nino. Okay, we've got... Hawkeye has a lot of weapons, but he, since he's not gonna be here, I'll give the Brave Axe to... No one has too few uses to be used. Man. Uh, anyone else down here that, with weapons? He is a Silver Blade. Um, Spear. Oh yeah, let's boost Lowen's stuff. Don't need that, and well, that's all good. He doesn't need a member card. You'll never need the member card again. And let's bring, get elixirs here. Rebecca doesn't need doesn't need two silver bows, but I will take a short bow. Actually, no. We give her one inventory slot left. Okay. Now we get to Sarah. You want um. It's probably best for... Ooh. You know who still has that? Renault. No. Renault. Take that Fortify. You'll want it. So... you also want to bring him a store staff. Just be ready for everything, dudes. People watching. So, let's see what we got. Lindus. People in my head, too. You gotta be aware. You gotta watch out. Um... Yeah. He's fine. He's going to be using Durandal all the time. Nils will be fine. Lindus will probably be switching between Manakadi and Solkadi. Hector will use our mods. Or Wolf Bale. Athos is fine with whatever he does. Because he's one of each. Uh, Matthew is... Uh, probably doesn't need two swords like that. I'll take two killing edges. And that'll be fine. Sarah is fine. Unfortunately, her light magic is too low to use Aura. Rebecca's fine. Probably could use something better than Bornberries. But I don't have anything better than Bornberries. 
everyone's using elixirs. Um, okay. Um, Lowen is doing good, he's ready. Dorcas. I'll take a single vulnerary? Really? That's all I'm giving him? Alright. Uh, Dorcas. Yeah, he's he's ready. Canis, because his magic isn't too... His, because his staff isn't high enough, can't use mend. Uh, Sarah, she's fine. I just want to make sure that I'm all ready for everything. Okay, now that we're ready, dudes, you ready? Let's, um... Let's... Go. Just make sure I'm ready, because I don't want to, you know, be unprepared. Just set out and be like, oh, I should have brought that. But I guess I'm fine. Okay, let's go. Yeah. Lord Elwood, Lord Hector. Marilynus, thank you for everything. You're made of sterner stuff than I'd imagined. Thought you'd have fled by now. I, I thought as much. You're not taking me with you. That's disgusting. Cry if you must, but do something about the runny nose. What are we supposed to do? You can't fight, so we can't afford to take you with us. Take this and return to Fargus' ship. What is this, may I ask? A letter of introduction. Take this to Ostia and you'll be able to do good business there. Of course, if we fail on our mission, it's just a worthless ship just a worthless slip of paper. It's a worthless ship of paper? Little paper boat? But I must protest! For the rest of my days, I vowed to my heart to continue serving you both. Please, oh please, do not abandon me. Melanus. Then go get on the boat and pray for our safe return. Please, have faith in us. Wait for us. I... I understand. Until the end of my time, my lord. I will wait for you until the end of time. Please, come back. Safely. Please. Yeah, okay, we're going. Bye. We'll be back. Oh, Lord Elwood. Oh, my. We've made it. We're here. Nergel! <laughs> we're here. But you're too late. The gate is already opened. I will claim the mighty quintessence of dragons. I will become stronger and move ever closer to perfection. How many lives must you steal before you're satisfied? It did not... And it's not only those who die. What about the ones who left behind in pain and sorrow? What about them? I am who I am. The pain of others I do not feel. The sorrow of others does not touch me. Death feeds me. Death pleases me. I am the essence I consume. You fools have become corpses here because I wish it to be. Rise and come forth, my servants. Wait a second, those are... All of the fangs? This. You seem impressed with my work. Or perhaps it's just that you've seen a familiar face. That's... Marquez Laws! And... Those are Black Fang members. What have you done, Nergel? These morphs you see before you. I've given them the abilities and appearance of the people whose essences I've used to craft them. Well, it's not entirely true. I've made them far more powerful. This is the ideal plan for hypocrites like you. Especially you, my lord. You continue to regret causing harm to anyone, even enemies. However, no matter the reason, once the deed is done, it's done. Whether you enjoy it or not, it's, it is irrelevant. The s result is the same. It is not the same. Do you feel no horror for taking someone's life? Then you, you yourself are not alive. <laughs> Your weakness runs deep in you. You can never understand. The concepts of good and evil are devoid of any meaning or any value. These ideas prevent humans from liberating their own strengths. Such foolishness. The ultimate foolishness of the human race. Urgel, after all these years... You have not stopped to reconsider your ideas at all. The same is true of you, Athos. You must see the truth of it. All living creatures take energy from somewhere. 
we all use it to create, to change it into something better. The knowledge of Arcadia has shown us the road of the ultimate transformation. And yet you will not take that road. Why do you reject the obvious? I am not opposed to the quest for power, for greater knowledge. However, that quest must be driven from within. To fuel your quest from the stolen lives of others, this brings not wisdom, but abomination. <laughs> I remember. I still remember. Those words are unchanged from when you first said them ages back. When you were the dragons conspired to bury me. Look at this wound! Whoa, he's freaky now! The wound I took from your magic! It was a mistake! The only person who understood the man I thought my truest friend! It was a mistake to try and destroy me! <laughs> it confirmed some things for me. That trust brings to betrayal. That friends bring weakness. If that is what you've learned from your encounter, then you are a fool. Do you believe for a moment that when wise Ethos struck down his dearest friend, he felt nothing? His heart was torn in two, and yet you refused to understand that. Otherwood. Nergal, I will defeat you here today. But even now, there is no hatred in my heart. You who were born human. You who lost the heart that defines your humanity. For you, I have nothing but pity. Pity? <laughs> You're musing. A weak fool like you has pity for me. Interesting. Now, if you hope to defeat me, you may have your chance. Of course, you'll have to best my morphs first. Listen to me. This is my fight now. Mine alone. Everyone stay back. Hey, what are you talking about? We've come this far together, haven't we? That's right. I've said it before, but we all feel the same way. Hector. Lindis. Don't forget me, Lord Elwood. And Ninian. I'm sure she's here. I'm sorry. I'm sure she's here as well. Wow. Nils. Oh, Luigi, you too? Let me handle this. There's much I can do. Blessed Saint Elamine, grant us strength to win this with ease. I'll do whatever I can to help. Knights should fight, not speak. What was that right? Winning this battle means protect my family. Let this battle be forgotten by history. That's all I ask. Let me show you how much my blade is mature. Everyone. Let's go. We gotta stop Nurgle. And with that, the first door opens. How this battle works is there will be six different doors, each with different people in there. Well, with different amount, with different morphs. This first door has morphs of snipers, with, each with silver bows and long bows, and a familiar face. Uhai, or rather, it's a morph made in the form of the soaring hawk Uhai. He's gonna be he's a level 20 with a lot of HP and has rain flash equipped. This is the S ranked bow, which is a strong which is a brave bow. I'm gonna have Rebecca stand here with a long bow and take you out. Or come close to it. Let's move low and up here. I think I'm a, if I move low and first, then that would have fixed things. But oh well. Okay, you will want to move all of your magic users up there. Up and to the left. Just getting ready. And you'll also want to move everyone away from Uhai, because you don't want to get hit by a brave bow. Because that could deal 42 and hit twice. And Loan's directly in the way. Whoa. Dude, Hector, you just rescued him. Nice going. And Elwood took him and dropped him right there. Let's move right here. Move Athos up in the upper right. Upper left, I mean. Just move Matthew up there, too. Yeah, this should be fine. 
awesome. And then they'll move, mainly. They'll try to shoot Rebecca down. Critical hit! And Uhai will start moving. And, again, they'll try to shoot Rebecca down. With a long bow. And, and well, that's going well enough. Okay. Now, revealed again as a Sage. Sage, Morph, with Fimble Fetter, Bolting, and Physic. Don't want to mess with that. We've got... Skip the letter. We've got a, a Druid Morph with level S Guest Bent. Most powerful Dark Tome. It's also the heaviest. Which is saying something, because Fenrir is kind of... is like 18. And we have a familiar face. Kenneth. Or... A morph made in the form of the Shrike, Kenneth. Level 20 bishop, and he's really for really fierce. Fierceful? Yeah. But thing if you notice, the thing with morphs is that they have horrible luck. Or rather, they don't have any. So therefore, you can easily get a critical hit on them. So that's how they make it fair. Okay, so let's have Guy try to get a critical hit. With a... Unfortunately, he's on a horse, so he can't really do that well against him. Um... Let's try a Silver Sword and see where this goes. Silver Sword! Oh, I missed. With 90 accuracy, I missed. Okay. This is bad. Um... Well, let's try dealing with these guys. Let's have Candace take him out. With Luna, of course. Luna! Oh no, it's Fimble Fetter. Oh, you miss. Rawr, Luna. Didn't get him, though. I think I'll finish him off with Divine from Sarah. And Sarah levels up. Brilliant. HP, speed, and luck. Not bad. Um, what skills is range? I think we're just gonna move Althos up here. Cast four blaze on or better? Four blaze. Silly. Cast four blaze on Kenneth, no for a critical hit. Hmm. Four blaze! And he gets a critical hit! <laughs> he got a critical hit. Awesome. 48 damage! Loose! Ah. Oh, did I mention he is loose? That's like the, uh, the S level of light magic. Boom! Kenneth goes down. But I got a loose! Loose is really powerful. Really good, but there's better stuff. There's Areola. Oreola, how do you pronounce it? But. Mm, yeah, I'm just gonna drop loose. Yeah, I need it. Okay, we got. And now I don't really have to worry about this druid here. Yeah, don't worry about him. Um. Now, how do I give it to this guy? You might wonder. Well, Lindis does a good job of taking people out. Let's try out the new Soul Cotty. Those, by the way, the legendary weapons you just got, they all have their own custom animations! Now you can look forward to using them, right? Yeah, I know. Like the Durandal. No, that's a waste. That isn't gonna damage him. Our mods. And he got a critical hit! Down. Oh, 
Awesome job. And I got a Rain Fletch. Um, I want that, but I'm gonna have to drop my Silver Axe. Okay, Rebecca. You've got this. Take the Rain Fletch. And let's try it out. Hmm. Done. Most powerful bow. This is actually the first time I've ever used a Rain Fletch. I've never really used a, like, trained Will or Rebecca. Actually, I think they both died. So, let's get Loen in the, right here. Move Elwood down. Or, he's here. Should be fine. Now he'll aim for, you know, and try hitting with Guest Pent. Ouch. Well, guess what? Four play! And he gets another critical hit. Four plays! Oh. And you, I get the S ranked Dark Tome Guest Pen. Get rid of the Flux. And this door unlocks. This has a morph. Warrior Morph, level 19, with a silver axe and a silver bow, and it also has Brendan Reed, or at least a morph that looks like him. It's level 20, and has Baliskos, the Basilikos, the S-ranked axe, which, no, not, a, not Hector, though he could wield it, I'm gonna give it to Dorcas, because he can actually use it better. So, needless to say, you'll want people to get away from him. Uh, for some reason, physic cover his physic covers the entire place. I'm not sure why. Because it doesn't do that. See, look, fortify doesn't cover the entire place. Uh, but before I do that, okay, let's get Canis over to him. Get guest pen from him. Replace that with flux. And let's heal Athos. Awesome. Oh, now it goes up. Nope. Okay, so... My general battle plan is to wait for them to get a little closer. However, you'll also want people waiting somewhere around here. You want a lot of, like, your swordsmen just in range of them. Now that I've got rain flexed up. Easy. Don't worry, guy, you'll get your awesome one. Your awesome blade just in a few. Fortify. Yay. Awesome. And it's their turn. And that door unlocks. If you're wondering who's in this door, it's it's a morph, general morph. And Darren. Or at least a morph to, to look like Marquez Laws. He comes with Rex Hosta, which is the S-ranked Lance. Yikes. Okay, I... But sadly, you get a turn or so to mobilize you. Well, thankfully, you get a turn or so to mobilize your units. Mainly Hector. Mostly, Hector just stands right here and takes them all down. But for now, let's, let's wait on that for now. We've got to deal with these dudes. This is Brendan Reed. Like, let's see how well... Ha okay, um, I could try for a, the four... one of those... finishers, or I could try doing, like, actually fighting. As much fun as it would be. Oh yeah, for anything about the Soul Kati, it, um... When she's equipped with that, she gets five resistance, which is cool and all, but that's a drawback. This is a really heavy sword. Compared to the Monocotti, 
It's 11 pounds heavier. 11 units heavier. And her constitution does, isn't that great, so therefore she's going to take some losses. To her speed, which allows her to double hit. So... Oh well. Manakati! Yes! <laughs> Critical hit! Didn't get him, though. But Linda's level's up! Yes! Yay! HP resistance. Fair enough. Okay, now we can have our sight of him blocked. Um, let's get Dorcas up there. And not get killed. Okay. And not kill him either, I guess. Um, let's have Sarah do something. Actually, how about Canis? Let's see if we can use Guest Bent. Yeah, let's cast Guest Bent. And I get a critical hit! Guess bent. Red and read. You know, he actually—we never actually fought him, though. I guess that's fine. He wasn't a bad guy, technically. Okay. Um, I'm gonna drop Fender because that's a really bad tone to use. All things considered, I'm just gonna drop Fender. Okay, now let's go get let's go get that from Canis, and I'll leave the silver axe with him. Pass it to Ghost. Pass it to Ghost. Awesome. Actually got it. Let's give it another turn and see if we can try it out on that new dude, on that other morph. Okay, let's give it a shot. Pass the cost. Oh. And yeah, let's have Hector just stand here with our mods ready. That's all it really needs to happen. Uh, let's have Sarah take him out. No. Oh, this will work. But yeah, let's use that's Yeah, there we go. Yes, get the power boost from the friendship relationship and done. Okay, now let's have Elevoil. Now I recommend getting everyone down. I guess who needs healing? No one. Get everyone down that you can down here. And he'll try to take out Hector. Bring it. Ow! Nine. Well, guess what? <laughs> oh, mods! Critical hit! Huh. It was only because Lindis wasn't there. And now. We've unlocked two pe two more people. Ursula. At least, a morph that looks like her. She's still a Valkyrie. Her Somehow her stats got lowered. Probably because now... I don't know why. Nurgle's probably giving her a boost. And her, and her own will that allowed her to get stronger. And she comes with Excalibur. The S-ranked... Um... Anima Magic. Unfortunately, I don't have anyone that can use that, except for Athos. And here's Jerem. We never fought this guy, but he's a morph in the form of the Death Kite Jerem. We never fought this guy at all. Yet. And these guys have no affinity? Of course. They're not real people. But this guy has a rune sword. It's a dark magic sword, and you don't get this one if you kill him. 
it's it's Nosferatu and Captain of Blade. That's kind of powerful. Okay, let's see what we can do to her. Actually, I can probably have Athos attack from a distance. Actually, I can have Canis attack from a distance. Nosferatu, oh, that's, that's just asking for death. Luna! No, it's still bad. Uh, Rainfletch? Rainfletch, and I guarantee a kill! Alright, let's do that. Rainfletch! 75! <sighs> and Ursula's down. And I get an Excalibur. Uh, I don't need a Volner at this point. Let's keep low in your eye. Because, yes. Now for Jerem. Um, let's see what Matthew can do. You want to... Oh, yeah. The Rune Sword's great, but it gives you no critical hit. Chance, the possibility. Um, I can try to deal damage, but, like... It's not gonna... It's not likely to happen. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Silencer! Dude, Matthew! Dude, Matthew! It was, I was, it was a good idea to bring you along. Yikes! Okay, well, he, he could have actually been bad, but never mind. <laughs> never mind what I thought. Okay, let's keep going. Now you'll want to be ready for, like, ev everyone! ready for what you're about to fight up there. Let's use a fortify. I'm not sure why the music's different here, but okay. Alright. You want everyone in the upper right. And have weapons with good dodge ability. Oh yeah, that's for Darren. Bale or a tomahawk. Tomahawk can work well against that guy. On to Wolf Bale. They heal the same damage. Actually, no, Wolf Bale does a lot more. So I'll use Wolf Bale. Wolf Bale! <laughs> Ow! Why? Okay, let's give him one more turn. Yeah. Why does Nils have so much HP? Like, he's 32. That's insane. Okay, now let's finish him off with our mods. Oh, I forgot to increase his defense. Doink! I got a Vex Hasta! And I had a slot ready for it too. Which is odd. Okay, now we can have Candace try to take him out. That'll probably end in death. I'm gonna guess Pent. Nosferat. Ooh. Nosferat. That's a good idea. Let's attack with Nosferat. Shall we? Actually, just wait here with Nosferat. Because what other weapons you got? Lance. Does a little more... Right. Okay. Nosferatu equipped, and wait here. Actually, you could heal Hector. Nope, not risking it. I'm just gonna equip Nosferatu and wait here. Watch this. He'll try hitting me. Ow. Okay, he'll succeed. But that's when... Nosferatu! I deal 14, and I heal it! And then I swing twice! Deal 14, and I heal it! Like nothing ever happened. And... Here's the annoying part. 
this is where it gets tricky. You get Linus, the Lloyd, which is the morph made in the form of the White Wolf Lloyd, level 20 Swordmaster. It comes with the Regal Blade, which he drops. It's the S-ranked sword. You will want it. And you also get to fight Linus, the morph made in the form of the Rabbit Hound. Not, why, not sure why they said Mad Dog earlier, because it's Rabbit Hound. Linus, hero, level 20, any punk, comes with, equipped with the Brave Sword and a Tomahawk. Um, it should also be said that they have an S-ranked friendship. So, even though I said you want to bring everyone close, you want to run away now. Just kidding. Okay, let's get, out, get Matthew back up here. Alright, Fletch. Excalibur. We could use that. Athos. Okay, let's get Guy. Somewhere in the right direction. Yeah, let's just finish this with a tomahawk. Critical hit! Thank you, Lindis! Awesome. Okay, while this is, they're actually the most difficult ones to defeat. Because, 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 because he's a sword master! But thankfully, he gets no chance to I was about to say he gets no chance of a critical hit, but he has a friendship with Lloyd and Linus and ah. So because of that, they actually get a critical hit rate. Because of that friendship. So let's just wait. Yeah, they'll move out. That happens. They're still in range for that friendship, but now they're actually a little more vulnerable. Because I didn't charge up to them and try be try cracking skulls. I actually get more of more of a shot now. Because they have no luck to to counteract that. Um, if you and besides, Linus is the real is the real villain here. He can hit twice. Uh, yeah. So, that's the ghost. That's a dumb idea. Where'd my sword? Oh. I thought I gave him a sword. Okay. Rain Fletch doesn't even hit consecutively. Rainbow does, but not Rain Fletch. However, it does hit consecutively. It does hit him consecutively. Let's walk over here and just attack with a sword slayer. I do not care if you hit twice. Sword Slayer Arthur. Regal Blade. Miss. Try it again, Daria. Ow. So obviously you want to get rid of Lloyd first. Okay. I got the Rex Hasta in exchange for a Super Lance. Which I'm fine with. And I can try attacking with a spear. Spear. Okay, let's have Rebecca go over there. Um, not sure what I'm gonna do after the, at this point, actually. Yeah, Rain Fletch. Rain Fletch, you with the brain. You. Rain Fletch. Rain Fletch. Go over here and give Lone another turn. Yes. Okay. With the Rex Hosta. Actually, what can a Brave Lance do? No, that's, that's bad. Uh, 
Rex Hosta. Rex would be Brave Lance. Bad idea. Oh, Rex Hosta's too. It's a very light weapon. Okay. Try to attack Linus. Ow. Oh, missed that time. Lower levels up! HP. That's fine, that's all he ever gets anyway. Okay, um. Elwood. That's a dumb idea. Can't do any damage. Can't do any damage. Durandal. Yeah. Alright. Okay, since you have no chance of getting a critical hit, I think I'll take you out. Ah, that's the only, like, the only thing that ever hit her. Okay, I'm get. this is getting tiresome. Matthew, where were you? Come back up. I'm just not in all the fun. Okay, Canis, you know what? Do something about these two. Luna! Thank you, Luna! Yes, Linus is down. There you go. Level up for Canis. HP, skill, and speed. Now about Lloyd. He doesn't get that boost anymore. So now... Nope, we still can't damage him. Okay, let's have Sarah not do anything. Uh, hello? Does anyone have something they can use on him? I mean, seriously? Oh, you know what we haven't tried? Oreola. Let's try that one out. New weapon. Oreola. Which is probably the longest attack animation I've ever seen. Got him. Awesome job. Regal Blade. Okay, I'm gonna have to get rid of him better for this one. And there he is. We got a Druid Berserk Staff. Yes, I knew I should have brought that recovery. Which I did. Okay, we also got a Fortify with the Fimble Fighter with Fortify. Fraud to an eclipse. And this. Nergal, an avaricious fiend who turns death into power. He's a dark druid, the only one. A master druid whose heart is bound to darkness. He's level 20. Yeah. His only spell is Ereshkigal, which is the apocalypse spell. He's S ranked in everything. And his magic is maxed out. There's this. How powerful is this? Oh, it'll deal 50 to it. Okay. Magic is 30. Skills, uh... He, has, he is not a morph, so he gets a lot of luck. Defense is high and resistance is maxed. So basically... Yeah. Have fun getting rid of, like, attacking him. But he's not gonna move, so... Yeah. You can get in range of him all you want, but... I just still don't recommend it. Okay, now let's get that Regal Blade. Awesome! Okay, now let's heal everybody one more time. Fortify! Yes! Okay. Let's get Dorcas up here. With a Balescos in hand. Actually, an, an iron, a, a hand axe, probably. Now let's get you back away from them. Okay. No doubt he's gonna try Berserk Staff. Oh. Oh! Good shot! Um, 
I, was I saying this? Restore, good. And these generals appeared out of nowhere. Meanwhile, we don't really have time for them, so let's just leave Dorcas down. Dorcas and Lowen. Yeah, these guys, these can take, these can handle it. Yeah, don't worry about that. Matthew can actually do some damage too. With the Lance Raver he's got. Actually, Matthew can probably tank them all down. So watch this. No chance of hitting. Yeah, Matthew will get them all down. Okay, let's move everyone up. Um, uh, Tomahawk, actually. Oh, two more appeared with Nosferatu and Nosferatu. They don't want to bring out Luna because they don't want to kill us or anything. Anyone need to heal? No. Guy along. Glad you're still on my side. Show of this dude true dark magic. Guess pet. Though he has no spot. Let's try. No. You know. Nope. I didn't mean to. Sure. Whatever. Sure. Well, at least she levels up. HP, skill, speed. Okay, that's worth it. That was worth it, Fortify. Okay, let's get rid of this guy. With Luna. Critical hit! Luna! Yes! Now I don't have to worry about the Berserk Staff. Though I do have to worry about this guy with the Fimble Fetter. Okay. And he'll go after Matthew for no reason. Actually, because this is the only target in range. Silencer! There we go! Matthew levels up with 100 EXP for taking him out in one shot. Speed and luck. That's all he ever needs, really. But he could use some strength. Okay. Let's do this again. Miss. Seven. Silencer! Ready to go, Matthew. Oh, my bad. 90 EXP from taking him out. HP, Strength, and Resistance! Yes! And let's take this guy out, too. Oh. Eight. Eight. Oh, I didn't get a critical hit. That's fine. And they move in closer. This guy moves in. For the kill. Luna! Luna is such a good spell. Ugh, critical hit of Luna! Done! Now we don't have to worry about him healing. Canis levels up! Resistance. That's fine, he needs it anyway. Okay. There's one dude left, so. Let's get Matthew up there. Let's get Dorcas down there. Baliscos. Yeah! Dorcas levels up! And he gets one to strength. Ooh, HP, strength, luck, and defense. Not bad. Okay, let's keep these. Let's move these two up. Actually, what's the range on? 
Doesn't matter. Equip a spear and be fine with that. Rain Fletch. Let's give Matthew another turn. He's done a lot of fighting. For someone that I didn't even think I should bring. Awesome. Okay. Get Matthew up here. Someone that needs healing? Canis. I'll heal you. Yes. And now I'll take you out. Divine. Eight. Los Frato. Oh, you missed. Divine. Eight. Okay. Let's get Elward out here. Actually, Matt can... Let's just get Guy out here. Show off the Regal Blade I got. 27! From a Swordmaster! Awesome job! Speed and luck. That seems to be all he's ever getting. Move Hector. No, don't want to stand right in front of him, in front of the guy. Yikes. Okay, let's take him out. Tomahawk. Okay, that worked better than I thought. Enemy turn. That was quick. Okay, let's move Dorcas up. Apparently I'm calling them by their weapons now. Matthew. Lindis. Uh, what I want to do is completely surround it. And by the way, he's gonna hurt, so don't attack him unless you know you can counter him. Like, look at this. Yeah, it's gonna hurt. Not even gonna deal any damage. Okay, that's gonna be brilliant. She'll just be there for moral, su moral support, I guess. Okay. Alright, let's do this. Actually, let's move you a bit more. I'll want him nearby. With the Basilisco. With the Basilicos? Yeah, I'll want him. Okay. Alright. Yeah, may you'll want to make sure that Lindis is right next to Hector. Should be set. Let's do this. He's gonna strike one after another. Start with Hector and our mods. Actually, I don't want to score a critical hit, but I want to get him. Alright, let's go. Axis Athos. No, Hector. Nurgle! So you've come, Hector of Ostia. Your existence itself was my greatest miscalculation. If it had only been Elwood, this could have been over. So, my little miscalculation, I shall erase you. And leave no trace remaining. Do your worst. I know I will. Hm. Fifty. There's kill. 
Ah. Ouch. Okay, let's have Linda's attack. Little girl from the game, you do well to vanish. One such as you is no match for me. The nomads of the plains do not abandon their fellow tribespeople. Elwood and Hector are my dear friends. Their sorrow is my sorrow. Their anger is my anger. Pfft. Nigel, in my friend's names, I will cut you down. Three. Way to go, Linus. Let's go. <laughs> Critical hit! Her animations just keep getting cooler. Okay. Now... Elevate. Okay! Dumb idea. Actually, he's gonna have to be the finisher if I want him to attack at all. Let's do this. Be prepared. You are to witness the power that overwhelms all. So about. Ow, 40 damage. Hosta. Hmm. Ouch. Yikes. Ariel would just kill him instantly. But rather than that, I'd rather have Ella would get a conversation in. Which seems impossible. Below because he's so low level. So I'll just use Fortify and see what happens. And see who needs a healing. I'll spend my last fortify on this. Fortify. But a fortify broke. That's fine. Everyone's fully healed now. Okay. And he'll attack Rebecca and die. That's fine. That's fine. Why? Why must I lose? <laughs> not like this. I shall not die like this. With my last breath, tremble and despair. <laughs> I did that evil laugh. Okay, that's a good level up. It's finished. Yes, at long last. I know we missed out on Athos's quote and Ella's quote, but it really doesn't matter. Athos basically talks about his long lost friend, on how you know, on how it's a shame of what happened, and and basically 
what happens with Elwood attacks Nergal is Nergal questions Elwood's character and for what he's been doing and why. But and why he's still fighting even though he killed Ninian. And then he tells him that now he's fighting for Ninian. And that, you know, you shouldn't let your own sadness and sorrow like beat you down and overpower you. You should let it empower you in a sort of way. You shouldn't let it be your friendship be your weakness, but it should be your strength. Yeah, that's quite a lot for a game. For like, you know, Nintendo. No, it's not. They do this a lot. Father. We're done. What was that? What on earth? What happened? It can't be. No. You don't think. Oh. The, are those dragons? There's this final warning. This is what he meant. What a calamity. If dragons return to this world, the continent will be ash in less than a month. This must end at any cost. I will stop it. So, the, so these are dragons. Look at the size of them. Got a bad feeling about this. My legs are trembling just standing here. There are three of them. I don't know if we can do this. I... We need some kind of help. I'll do what I can. I will hold the dragons. Strike there! Athos? What do you... No! Athos! No! So powerful. Can they be stopped? Lord Athos, flee! The dragons are getting closer! If we can't stop them here, we're lost. What? Huh? Bramamond! Preparations to time. Okay. Require everyone's strength. Gather here the legendary power. Ah! This light! Uh, what... what is it? Look! There! What? Ninian? Bring her back. Let the dragon's girl's soul be restored. Ninian! Ninian! Where... where am I? Go with the exalted blood of dragons. Use that power to appease them. Uh, it's not... possible. Use my power... in this world. Do you not feel it? Your power returning? What? Uh... Yes. I will try. Let's move aside. She is a nice dragon. That's enough. I'm sorry. This is not your fault. I'm sorry. Ninian! It's okay. She's only fainted. Thank goodness. Ninian. My dragon still remains. Leave the girl to me. I shall tend to her. Oh, there you go. Ninian's alive! Chosen ones! You must stop the final dragon! You must save us all! So, uh... I should point out that there's... A druid here with sleep staff. A bishop here with purge. This bishop, this sage has bolting in silence. This druid has nose for Ardu and Berserk. This one has purge, and this one has bolting. Yeah. So anyway, this is the boss, the final end game boss. It's a dragon.
with a flame tongue as its weapon. It's an un use it's an un char chargeable can never burn out dragon's breath. Which burns all it touches and there's no protection from it. It which means it deals and he has a lot of boosts. Yikes. Which means this thing's bound to hit. Yeah. And it's bound to do 37 damage no matter what. So let's see what happens if Sorry about that, Elwood. You're a little underleveled. So now we get it. Basically, we're gonna have Hector stand right next to him. Right behind him. With our mods equipped. Get Lindis right in front of him. With her Soul Cotty equipped. Rebecca can stand right here with Rain Fletch, I guess. Yeah. Lowen, stand right in front of her. With Rex Host, right beside her, with Rex Hosta. Oh, by the way, did I mention that the Dragon Breath, the Flame Tongue's range is 1 to 3? Which means if you're standing here, you'll get hit. Let's have Athos go here. With so for some reason, Oriole and Four Blaze deal like heavy damage to it. So I'm just gonna equip Oriola because that's like the most powerful thing I've got. Let's get kind of let's get him within range, I guess. Dorcas, let's move you up and in close and in hitting range, attacking range of the dragon. And Nils levels up! Good. HP and skill, speed and luck. Not that he needs everything else, but HP and speed. Okay, with Basilikos, we can't even... Not even Dorcas can hit this thing! Actually, he'd probably get dead in one shot. But you want Canis up there, because of his Luna. I'm not sure why he has a silver axe, but okay. So how's your bolt? Yeah, you'll hit a whole bunch of people. And we got Matthew nearby. Okay. Let's do this. He attacks Lindis. This is gonna hurt to no end. Actually, the one health. Ouch! Hmm. Three! How much health does this thing have? Nine! Total of twelve. And it's attacking with bolting. Oh! Miss. And this one's attacking with sleep. And it worked. Man. Great. Um, what level is that restore staff? C. And he has D rank. Okay, so now he's gotta go and use restore on guy. I forgot I have nils. So if I want, I can give Sarah another. Okay. Let's have Guy go up there and see how much damage he can do. Zero. Good job. Yeah. But it hit twice with zero. Um. So who got nailed? Lindis. Um. I could use Rain Fletch, but I think I won't. That's just asking for trouble. I'll give Sarah another turn. To use Physic. Physic's 
music. Actually, she can probably go over. How much... Oh, more HP than she has. Physic. Nope, didn't heal her fully. Kaz can go over and heal the rest. He'll s no, he won't. He can't. He'll die. Do anything with it. Okay, fine, whatever. Let's get her out of here. Or move over here. Using the links. Forgot she had those. Awesome. Let's get Dorcas over here just to be a target. Matthew can be here too, just to be a target. Unfortunately, Elowood's gonna die a painful death if he gets anywhere near that thing. Rainflash is good, but it's better stuff. Fortunately, Lowen is just like. What kind of defense does this thing have? Aw, oh, it just doesn't work somehow. I'm not sure why, but it just doesn't. Yep, you're attacking Dorcas. Bring it. What? I'm sorry, Natalie. I swore I'd help you, and now I've broken my oath. You never swung twice before. At least not when I checked it up earlier. Whoa. Good dodge guy. Yeah, this one's gonna hit. I don't care. I'm mad, dragon. You're going down. Good dodge, anyway. I am mad, dragon. I'm mad. Come on, Hector, get rid of this thing. Am I supposed to be frightened by that? Armods! Critical hit! Yeah, Hector! Ouch. Rain Fletch. Back another turn, shall we? Recover. Full heal. Let's 
You see, you're not in a good position right now. You see, you killed someone I like. So, that's not a good spot to be standing. Come on, Ella, what do it? Beat him with Durandal. I don't care if this is wise or not. Ellawood is going to do this. Watch me as I victory. Miss. Oh, I got it. I, I got it. Oh. Hmm, didn't expect that. Shame about Dorcas. Ellawood! Ellawood! Good Ellawood! I'm right here! I'm right here! Well done, brave successor to Roland. It's finally over. Finally. Everything is. What are those? <laughs> Looks like I've exhausted my strength. I... I'll die before you, friend. I may well fall you. For now, I will sleep again. Elwood, Hector, Min. I've lived a long, long time. But now, I'm done. Do not grieve, sir. Absent friends. I have no regrets. What are those? Now, my friends, my family, let me give you a parting gift. As I lay dying, I see many things. I see the future. Why? Why is this not now? Neither Bramalond nor I would be here to help a lad need. What do you see? An evil star rises and burn. All of Lieb would be once again a wash in blood. But do not fear. Once again, Lysia brings hope. Children of fire. Everything. But Athos, even at the end, he thought of us. Weird. Look, both of you. But Athos, it's almost as though he's smiling. This world will once again be enveloped by darkness. But at the end, a saving light shall rise. Ninian! But Elwood! I'm so happy. I can't believe you. You're back. I feel like this is all a dream. Once I lost you, I knew for sure. I need you. I want you by my side forever. But, Elwood, I, I... I must go home. What? What do you mean? I'm... I'm the cause of all this. It was my weakness that invited this tragedy. Ninian? Here on Alib. We were nurtured for ages in the land of our birth. Even after humans invaded and drove us out. Not a day passed that I did not think of it. I yearned to see it once again, our homeland. Those children, the 
fire dragons. They were like me. We knew that it was forbidden. And yet, we answered Nurgle's call and opened the gate. We didn't intend to stay long. Just to see home one last time. But Nurgle captured us, and it led to this. We humans, we took control of the, cont of the continent like it was our, our right. We never considered who or what we drove away. Ninian, Mills, the blame for this was never yours alone. While we can claim ignorance, we still bear some responsibility. Lord Elwood, do you truly believe that? I do. If my father were here, he would say the same thing. Let's work together and think about the future. If the entire continent made a place where dragons and humans could live together, like the hidden city Lord Athos spoke of, Arcadia. What a wonderful world that would be! But that's certainly something that won't happen for a long, long time. So we... We can't stay here. The gate is still open. If it remains so, other dragons will certainly pass through. Before that happens, we must return to our world. We must regain our power and seal the gate from that side. Are you saying I'll never see you again? That can't be! Lord Elwood. I am truly blessed that I have had the chance to meet you. Please, please, don't forget me. Ninian! Come, Nils. Let us go. We must return to our world. Ninian, the air of this world, it's changed so much from what we knew. Wait, I don't ever see this before. No matter how much time passes, our strength will never return. If we stay here, we will not survive long. Nils, why do you... But even knowing that... Your life will be short. Ninian, you truly wish to remain here, don't you? I understand. Stay here. Stay with Lord Elwood. Nils? Lord Elwood. Ninian. No, my sister. Please cherish her. I will. I will make her happy. I swear it. Nils! You! Are you? Mm -hmm. I'm going alone. I want to live a long time. I... I don't have your curiosity. Nils... Okay then. I'm going. Be well, Nils. I miss you. I'll never forget you. Nils! Don't cry, Ninian. Even if we're apart. If we never see each other again. Our bond will never, ever be cut. More importantly, sister, live as long and be as happy as you can 
for as long as you can. I've never seen this scene, oh my. I never saw that. Nails! Thank you, Nails. Ooh, daybreak! Beautiful, isn't it? The start of another day. Ninian? You'll come with me, won't you? Yes! Oh my gosh, it's so adorable and awesome! That's so cool! So I'm gonna save it over this. I mean, it's not like you wanted to see my original save file anyway. Trust me, it was bad. Epilogue. One year later. Wow, this is a lot. So, here you are, Luigi. Will you attend my ascension ceremony? Hector and everyone else is coming. What? These clothes? I look silly, don't I? Formal dress is so stiff. I can't stand it. Ah, everything's finally resolved. I'll succeed my father as Marquess Foray. I don't know if I'm equal to the task, but I'm going to as I'm going to do my best for all the people who live here. Luigi, you do you really have to go? No, I understand. I'm sure that you have things you must do. Thank you for supporting me in everything. Lord Elwood? Here I am, Ninian. Ah, hello, Luigi. Um, Lord Elwood, is Luigi? Luigi will be at the, at the ceremony of Ascension. Yes, I will. But must leave shortly after, shortly thereafter. Is that so? I'm disappointed. Oh, Luigi, I want you to know something. When things are a little more settled, Ninian and uh, and I plan to be married. <laughs> and this may be a bit premature, but. Luigi, we'd like you to to name our first child. Ninian and I talked it over. You've done so much for us, and we truly want this. Please, Luigi. So, Luigi, this is farewell. If it weren't for you, I wouldn't. This world wouldn't be here. You have my heartfelt gratitude, Luigi. I'll see you again. It's a promise, my friend. And we've beaten the game! For now, anyway. I plan on doing it again, because after this, you unlock Hector's story, which I've only played a little bit. Um, Hector's story is basically the same thing, but a little more in-depth. It tells you more story, which is amazing as it is. I still plan on pairing up Ninian and, and Ellawood, and hopefully Sane doesn't die. And that Barter doesn't die, because I actually plan on using him, because he died this time. I was going to keep him, but I'm like, going to use him instead. I was, no, I was going to use Dorcas and then Barter. The Dorcas and keep Barter, like Barter as a backup, but that didn't work. So, I'm going to use Barter this time, for my next playthrough.
I also plan on doing the other fights, because you could fight, um, what's his name? The, you know, the bishop of darkness, that bishop that we fought, Kenneth. You could either fight him, or you could fight Jerem. So I plan on fighting him, and showing the other map as well. But, oh well. So, here's all my stats from all the chapters. I, did, I went through this game rather quickly, didn't I? Yep, I did. Except False Friends, that went on too long. Prisoner of Magic, I missed that other one. Uh, Dragon's Gate went on for too long. Night of Farewells did too. Victory or Death did too. A total of 500 turns. Not bad. Marcus, Knight of Foray. Marcus returned to Foray with Elwood and, as the head of the Knights of Foray, dedicated his life to training young squires. Not bad. Lowen, the Swift Knight. Lowen replaced Marcus as the most famed knight in all Foray. His endless zeal served Foray well throughout his life. Yeah. Rebecca, the wildflower. Rebecca returned to her father, then pledged service to House Foray. She has formed a family, and yet she still serves Foray well. Wonder with who? Lowen, maybe? Dorcas died at- No, he did not! I'm gonna make it so he is still alive. Bardo, wild axe fighter. Wounded at birds of a feather. Left company. At least he's not dead. Oswin, the impregnable knight. Oswin served as a vassal to Marcus Ostia. His was a calm, reasonable voice in Lysia's ruling government. I never used him at all. Matthew, thief and spy. Matthew continued his service as a spy for House Ostia. The memory of his beloved Layla lingers on in his heart. Poor Matthew. Sarah, the outspoken cleric. Sarah returned to Ostia. She spent much time tending to, to her own affairs. But lately, she has begun to enjoy her free time. Hm. Guy, the mounted swordsman. Guy continued in his quest to be the finest swordsman of all Sake. His form was so perfect, so perfected that all called him the Saint of Swords. Not bad. Pretty impressive. Irk, the studious mage. Irk returned to Etruria and was asked to succeed the, re the retiring Lord Pent. He refused and devoted his life to the study of magic. He passed up Etruria. Marquez, yikes. Priscilla wasn't used this playthrough. She was a secluded princess. She returned to Etruria's Count Carolyn. Her adopted parents met her not with harsh rebukes, but with tears of joy. Florina, the Pegasus Knight. After Linda, Lynn um, abdicted rule of Caitlyn, Florina returned to Ilia. She remained shy, but this shyness has made her strong within. Kent, the Crimson Shield. After Caitlyn was placed under Austrian rule, Kent became its steward. His dedication earned him the love of his people. And Sane, the Green Lance, he, he died at Noble Lady of Caitlyn. Unfortunately. Will, the Archer without equal. Except for Rebecca. Will remained at the at the Knight of Caitlyn even after Ostia took over. He became the commander of Ostia's Caitlyn Archer Division. Raven, the Sublime Mercenary. Raven vanished without a word. Many reports have placed him in Arafin, but none could be confirmed. Who knows what he went to say? Lucius the Light. Lucius lived in a, a modest life in a remote corner of Arafin. He built a small orphanage where he now cares for helpless children. As the monks would do. Canis the Seeker of Wisdom. Canis returned to his family in Ilia. Some years later, he and his wife died trying to stop a snowstorm. His child was raised by his old mother. That's so unfortunate! He was killed by the cannon of the story! Dart, Baden's commando. Bart took a grave wound in protecting Fargus in a skirmish. He's vanished at sea, but rumors claim he might be in Foray. Sorry. 
Fiora, Wingborn Warrior. Fiora flew many missions as the head of the mercenary company. Her donation saved many poor families in Ilya from, de from destitution. Legault the Hurricane. After the battle, Legault traveled the lands looking for Black Fang refugees. He helped them to ease their pain of his own loss. Nils, the child of destiny. Nils vanished through the gate in order to seal it from the, from the other side. Those who saw him go will never forget his look of sorrow. Isadora, the escort of Ferre. As a knight of the Imperial Guard, Isadora served as a guard to Lady Eleanor. She continued to study to be a lady up until she wed. Wonder who? We don't know him yet. Heath, the wandering knight. It's not him. Heath moved to Ilya and became a mercenary knight of some fame. He fought not for country, but for people in need. He has crazy hair. Roth, wolf of Sakai. Roth returned to his tribe in Sakai. His deeds earned him warm greetings from, from his father, the famed Silver Wolf. Hawkeye, the Desert Guardian. Hawkeye returned to Nevada and lived peacefully in Arcadia with his daughter. He had a daughter? Whom he trains to be guardian of the desert. Wait, was that... No. Couldn't be a strange girl, man. Wallace intended to return to Kaelin, but he got lost and ended up in Ilya. Wow. He now spends his days tilling the frozen soil. Wow. Nice going. Pent, the mage general, and Louise, the lady of violets. When Athos died, Pent took over his research. To focus on his studies, Pent resigned as Mage General of Etruria. This action set the palace in an uproar, but Pent and Louise endured. Of course. Carol. Carell, Saint of Swords. Wow. Once Carell was known as a sword demon, now he bears a new name. What prompted this change, he will not say. Nino, the pious mage. At Elwood's invitation, she started a quiet life in a small village in Foray. She plans to return to Bern to visit a certain cemetery. Jafar, the Angel of Death. Jafar vanished in the final moments of the last battle. He still avoids the bounty hunters who seek out the famed Angel of Death. Viada, the Flying Fang. Some rumors say that Vida died at the hands of Burn forces. Others say she now serves Burn's Prince Zephyr. Renault, the Burn Bishop. No one knew the old him, no one knows what became of him. He vanished as though he never existed. Arxage Athos. Athos died in a foreign land. Those who saw him, his face said that he seemed as though he had smiled. He had at last found true peace. And was smiling. Ronus, the cheery merchant. Ronus opened a shop in Ostia, but it was forced to close. He plans on reopening with some aid from Lord Ellawood himself. Hector of General Ostia and Lynn, nobleman of Sakai. Hector succeeded his brother as the Marquess of Austria, but the pain of his brother's death weighed heavily on him. His beloved Lynn gave him comfort and helped him become an enlightened leader. This only happens if they have the A friendship. Elwood, Knight of Lycia, and Ninian, Child of Destiny. Elwood and Ninian were wed after the conflict. Ninian gave up her old life and her people to enjoy a brief life with Elwood. They have a son named Roy, who will one day take up arms to defend his nation. Roy! You know that guy? I'm sure you do. Luigi, the famed gen genius. The tactician vanished after the final battle. Burn, Lycia, and Etruria all sought for those famed skills, but none ever found the tactician. The Castle Ostia. Years later. Probably. 
Thanks for coming, Ellawood. Hector! Long time no see! First time since my brother's funeral. Fifteen years now. And look at us. We've both grown older, haven't we? Uh huh. Time certainly does speed right up right by. My father's disappearance, his death, a fight with Nergal, those fire dragons. The memories are so vivid, it might have happened yesterday. Nergal, what a black heart he was. I've had enough of battles like that. Huh? Is that your son over there? I've been wanting to introduce you, but there wasn't. There, but there's been no chance. Roy, come here. Did you need something, Father? Say hello to Marques Ostia. Y yes, sir. A, a, pl a pleasure to meet you, Lord El. Your Lord Hector. My name is Roy. Roy, is it? Nice to meet you, lad. Well, I guess that means I should introduce my daughter then. Lilina! What? Are you being shy? You don't have to be nervous. This is your father's old friend and his son. Hello, Lilina. This is Roy. He's the same age as you. Ni nice to meet you. Lilina? Let's be friends! We can play over there! It's okay, go on. <laughs> what a cute child. Good thing she took her after her mother. <laughs> what? She looks just like me. Doesn't she? <laughs> You're a sarcastic one, Marques Ostia. Oh, come on. Now you're the one putting on airs. Marques Foray. <laughs> Uh, the only thing older about you is your appearance. Don't tell me you still behave like that, even now that you're the Marquess. I'm always on top of my duties as Marquess. But when I'm around you, I want to I relax, so please. Hector. By the way, I heard that the King of Bern died. It was fairly sudden, too. I can't be certain, but according to one of our spies, he was killed in an assassination attempt on Prince Zephy. The prince? I trust he was unharmed. It's a strange tale. At first, I'd heard that the prince was killed. Then new information came, three days later, saying that it was the king who had died. Do you remember Archsage Athos' prediction? Is something happening? I don't know. Father! Can I show Roy my pony? Yes, go ahead. Be careful. Okay. For the sake of our children's futures, I'll stop 
anything that may happen. I'll sacrifice my life to make it so. Once again, Lysia brings hope. If that turns out to be true, to be wrong, no, it must happen. At Burden Keep. What's that? That looks like a sequel chance. Right. Okay, so... I guess we're done here. We've beaten the game. It took me a long time to do it, but... That's fine. That's brilliant. However, I still gotta do Hector's story. Well, anyway, this is Let's Play Fire Emblem. I'm Luigi Fan 64 d and... See you next time when we start Hector's story. See you, this is Luigi Van 64D. See you next time.